hello guys welcome to mr legend crypto guys in this video we'll be taking a look at an old coin ethereum king of all coins in the market currently around two on coin market cap ethereum has over three million people having it on their watch list on coin market cap currently trading around one thousand seven hundred dollars in this video we'll be taking a look at the ethereum us dollar price chart on the three-day time frame Will Ethereum pump above two thousand dollars in the coming days and the coming weeks? We have seen Bitcoin rally above its August two thousand and twenty-two high, getting to as high as twenty-nine thousand dollars. So, will Ethereum join Bitcoin pumping to higher prices? We're also going to take a look at Ethereum dominance in the market currently at nineteen percent. The All Coins Season Index is telling us right now it's a good time to pile onto All Coins. So, what will that mean for Ethereum in the coming days and the coming weeks? We'll also take a peek at the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin. Ethereum is still waiting for Bitcoin to show us the way. Are we going to dump to Goblin Town in the coming days and in the coming weeks or are we going to be pumping to higher prices? We will be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So, all my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys. If you're new to this channel and you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions, chart analysis, if you want to make more money trading or investing in cryptocurrencies, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ethereum is up 10% in the last one month. We saw Ethereum pumping to higher prices, joining Bitcoin, but it has been underperforming against Bitcoin. It's still down bad in the bear market. Ethereum is down 48.5% in this crypto bear market. We have bull markets and we have bear markets. Ethereum was one of the huge gainers in the previous bull market, going up by more than 50x to the upside. We saw Ethereum trading around $89 in March of 2020, finally rallying to as high as $4,800, giving us 5,400% pump to the upside in a bull market. But Ethereum is going through its second full crypto bear market. In its first full crypto bear market, we saw ethereum going down by more than 94 percent right now in this bear market ethereum has gone down but we didn't see 95 percent dump for ethereum in this bear market ethereum is becoming a mature asset we have seen ethereum done by 82 percent in this bear market we found support at the 800 dollar region ethereum dropped to as low as 875 dollars but that was in june of 2021 since then we saw ethereum rally to as high as two thousand dollars that was in August of 2022. Ethereum has been dumping to Goblin Town ever since, rallying to that $2,000 point in August of 2022. We saw Ethereum giving us a 119% pump to the upside in 57 days. But after that pump ended, Ethereum has been dumping to Goblin Town. We headed back to the $1,000 region, losing 46%. Even though we started 2023 on a very bright note, rallying up to higher prices, seeing Ethereum pump from as high as $1,100 to as high as $1,800, Ethereum has been trading shy of that $2,000 level where we got to in August of 2022. Now, I believe we're going to see Ethereum pump into higher prices in the coming days and in the coming weeks. The All Coin Season Index is telling us right now is Bitcoin month, which is code for right now is a good time to buy all coins as Bitcoin has been outperforming the top all coins over the last one month. The last time we saw a strong signal to go heavily into all coins was in November of 2020. Guess where Ethereum was trading in November of 2020? We saw Ethereum trading around the $400 to $500 region. And guess what, guys? If you had obeyed the All Coin Season Index and buy some Ethereum, then expecting all coins to outperform Bitcoin in the coming days and the coming weeks you would have seen an 800 percent pump to the upside so because of that i believe we'll see ethereum outperforming bitcoin in the coming days and the coming weeks and we've seen bitcoin the king of the market rally above its august 2022 price point bitcoin is trading the highest price we have seen since may of 2022 bitcoin is trading above twenty seven thousand dollars if ethereum is going to follow suit and rally towards two thousand three hundred dollars maybe best case scenario even rallying to as high as two thousand five hundred dollars we have to see a huge pump for ethereum coming to the upside ethereum will have to rally up by more than 42 percent for us to get there do you think Ethereum is going to rally 42% in the coming days and the coming weeks? Or do you think the All Coin Season Index is going to be wrong this one time? All the other times in the past where the All Coin Season Index has told us the Bitcoin month and for us to go hard into All Coins, we have seen a huge pump for All Coins, maybe a 30 or a 50% pump to the upside. I believe that's very, very possible and that can happen very, very quickly. Deep in the crypto bear market, if you want to be accumulating more Ethereum, getting ready for the next crypto bull run, remember guys, 
The bear market can be very long and brutal. There's no guarantees that the bottom is in. As a matter of fact, I personally believe we're going to see Ethereum trading below $1,000 at some point in time in this bear market. And for our country trading, if that reality is going to come into play, Ethereum will drop around 50% from where we're currently trading. Don't take this prediction to the bank. I'm not predicting that for sure we'll see Ethereum trading at that level. But guys, bear markets are designed to get you bullish. At the same time, bear markets are designed to get you bearish so that people get confused and just give up. But if you can survive the bear market, by the end of the bear market, you're going to see a huge pump to the upside. We'll always have bear markets. We're going to always have bull markets. All you have to do is invest heavily in the bear markets with smart investors. And when the bull market comes around, you're getting those good green candles to the upside. We've seen greed return to the cryptocurrency market. The crypto fee and greed index is showing us right now when greed. Yesterday, there was greed in the market. Last week, there was still greed in the market. And just over a year ago, when extreme fear dumped into Goblin Town, a lot of people are thinking cryptocurrency will never rise again in June and April of 2022. The fear and greed index was showing us extreme fear. Right now, it's showing greed probably heading to extreme greed in the coming days and in the coming months. Ethereum, the king of all coins in the market, has traded as high as $3,500 in the last one year, also as low as $896. Currently ranked number two on CoinMarketCap, over 3 million people have Ethereum on their watch list, and Ethereum has a market cap of $214 billion. We'll be taking a look at Ethereum's market cap briefly. If you want to buy or sell some Ethereum right now deep in the bear market, you can do that. On Binance, on Coinbase Exchange, on Kraken, on Qcoin, on Bitfinex, on Bitstamp, and anywhere you get your popular altcoins. And that worrying sign I'm seeing in the market, guys, Ethereum dominance. Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin since September of 2019. And rightfully so, Ethereum is up more than 168% against Bitcoin since then. Guys, I'll not be shocked to see Ethereum dominance dumping the market. Bitcoin dominance has been rising, even getting to as high as 47% for the first time since June of 2022. Also, Ethereum's dominance in the market has been ranging from that 20% region even to as low as 13%. I'll not be shocked to see Ethereum dominance get back to that 13% region at some point in time in the bear market. Worst case scenario, we might see Ethereum dominance in the market get to as low as 12.88%. And that reason why I believe we might see a rally to the upside in the coming days and the coming weeks, which we might see Ethereum pump to higher prices, is that stablecoin dominance in the market on a 3 day time frame has gotten back to a 200 moving average. So we saw the stablecoin dominance in the market get back to its 200 moving average on a 3 day time frame. In November 2021, that was a good time for Ethereum. That was when Ethereum was trading around $4,800. We also saw the stablecoin dominance in the market dump to Goblin Town in January of 2021. And that was also a good time for Ethereum in the market. We saw Ethereum getting to as high as $1,200, even pumping to as high as $4,300. After that, guys, the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin, is still not above that August 2022 high. We saw total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin, get to as high as $681. Ethereum was trading around $2,000 then. Right now, we're waiting for Bitcoin to show us the way. If we're going to catch up with Bitcoin, we'll have to rally up by more than 18%. Bitcoin has gone above that August 2022 price where it was trading for $25,000. Bitcoin has even gone to as high as $29,000. If the altcoin market is going to be heading to $750 billion, that will require us to pump by around 30% to the upside. And that will require Ethereum to pump from where we're currently trading around $1,750, a 30% pump to the upside, we see Ethereum getting to as high as $2,300. Ethereum's market cap is around $214 billion, still shy of the $241 billion where we got to in August of 2022. And if Ethereum is going to be pumping to that $2,500 region, the market cap might head back to the $300 billion region for the first time since May of 2022. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Where do you see Ethereum heading to in the coming days and the coming weeks? Do you favor us dumping back to Goblin Town, either getting to as low as $900 or maybe finding support at the $1,100 region? Or do you think we'll be pumping to higher prices? Our quote of the day, a lot of people with high IQs are terrible investors because they have got a terrible temperament. You need to keep raw irrational emotions under control. That was said by Charlie Monga. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Remember guys, invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Seven, one, two, three.